Multitudes of Donald Trump supporters, anti-Trump protesters, and police began gathering in downtown Washington, D.C. in the early morning hours of January 20, 2017, Inauguration Day. We're here in downtown Washington, D.C. with The Real News Network, where we are going to speak with some of the tens of thousands of people who have gathered today for the inauguration of Donald Trump. We're going to speak with some demonstrators as well as some Trump supporters to get a better idea of what's going on on the ground today on Inauguration Day. Say it loud! Say it clear! Refugees are welcome here! Senator will never be defeated! The electoral process for 2016 is over, as corrupt and terrible as it was. But it did successfully mobilize millions of citizens, many for the first time, to participate in a powerful movement for change in this country. Charles Lenchner is a co-founder of People for Bernie, a grassroots organization that supported Bernie Sanders in the 2016 election. He also participated in the J-20 protest activities on Inauguration Day. What I'm seeing is that many of these people are funneling themselves into other organizations, many of them new efforts to continue this resistance to the, you know, the one percent, to the power of corporations in this country. And the way it's happening is extremely organic. The J-20 protesters, named after the January 20th inauguration date, began assembling near checkpoints where spectators and Donald Trump supporters like Tracy Crow waited in long lines to enter the security permit established along the presidential parade route. More power to them. I mean, everybody, I, I, if you feel like protesting, please do. And that's, that's, that's why we all went and voted. That's why we all state our, how we feel. That's why I'm stating why I feel right now. Uh, if you feel like he's not the man for the job, then you should step up and say so. But tensions later erupted between Trump supporters and demonstrators who established blockades at parade entrances as part of a strategy of peaceful disruptive protest. One of the larger J-20 groups was the Black Lives Matter bloc. This checkpoint is closed. It's not going to open. We're, um, we're standing up against fascism, racism, the Klan, uh, neo-Nazis, uh, alt-right, we're standing up against them today. Physical confrontations became more and more numerous as individual Trump supporters attempted to break through the demonstrators' blockade. Among those present was right-wing political commentator Alex Jones. This, those people are the fascist, brainwashed brown shirts over there. They're the people that are like Nazis. Total cowardice, total scum. That's why they're associated with Islamicists and, and jihad bombers and all of it, the target men, women, and children. It is for demonstrators like Rosa Lozano of the Mi Gente organization, the nonviolent direct action tactics of the demonstrators were meant to send a message to President Donald Trump and supporters. Today is the transfer of power, right? So today is when Trump actually takes office. And so for us, it's important that he and those that support him understand that it's going to be a long four years of resistance um, against anything that he or the folks that he chooses to make decisions for our country are going to face. Tensions continued to escalate into the afternoon, with riot police and tear gas deployed against demonstrators that included a separate and reportedly violent group of protesters that some identified as the Black Bloc. As of publishing time, there were more than 200 arrests reported. Reporting from Washington, D.C., I am David Doherty with The Real News Network. Mm -hmm.